I'm Chris Golding, shooting guard for Melbourne United and the Australian Boomers. Basketball's uh, been a massive part of my life. I'm lucky enough to play the sport that I love as my occupation, and I've been doing that for over 10 years. The biggest support for me has been my family. They've never you know, limited me or, or pressured me to do anything other than what I, what I love, which is basketball. You know, some of the best advice I've ever been given to me was, was by my father. He said, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And that's definitely something that's shaped my career and definitely shaped my training habits. Throughout my career, I've always wanted to go into to games as prepared as possible. So that starts on the training track or on the training court. About 10 to 14 days out from the final Olympic selection squad for Rio, I was going through one of my final trainings and managed to roll my ankle. In the early stages of an ankle injury, obviously ice and compression um, is a big part of keeping the swelling out. You know, having such a short turnaround before the selection camp, I had to get it moving pretty quickly. So a lot of strapping tape, taping it up a lot tighter than usual just to get back on the court. I think it's really important to you know, try and give back to the community. I work with a, uh, an organisation called Helping Hoops who run basketball programs across Melbourne for disadvantaged youths and kids that just generally didn't have you know, the same luxuries or weren't as lucky or fortunate as I, as I was growing up being able to access sport and access basketball so readily. So any chance I get, I try and get down to the courts just to see the kids running around and enjoying the game the way I have for so many years. It's really cool, it makes you feel great inside. Making the national team for the first time was one of the proudest moments for me. I grew up idolising the players that had played in the Australian singlet before me and to be able to pull on the green and gold at the highest level um, you know, in the sport that I love was something that I'll, I'll remember forever.